Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, So It Flows. If this is your first time with me, my name is Alexandra Rose and this is Bean. Um, it's been a long time since I've um, put anything on this channel and I'm so excited to be back. A lot has happened since the last time you saw me here. Um, we did get a puppy. Again, this is Bean about seven months ago, seven or eight months ago. And um, we are also expecting a little one of our own in December. Um, so we're really excited about that. I was really inspired to create this flow, especially around creating space um, for my sister-in-law and sister who are expecting um, at the end of August. So it's really exciting. Um, lots of babies to come in our family and um, I hope this helps. This is going to be tailored um, towards prenatal um, and our pregnant ladies out there. But I think in any sense of creating space, um, it's all about what we are bringing into our lives and what we're creating space for. So if you're pregnant, this is wonderful. We're really going to be focusing on those things that create space for baby. But this is also really great if you want to do this before bed. Um, it's a nice intuitive practice um, for if you're creating space for new things to come into your life. Um, so I'm going to get the cat and the dog to stop chasing each other and we're going to get started. As always, I'm not going to be playing music, but I really encourage you to play any music that speaks to you. Um, anything that's really relaxing. We're going to be especially focusing on the breath today, so nothing too distracting. And I won't be using any props. And the reason for that is usually in our home practice, not a lot of people have props readily available for them. Um, so all I am going to be using today are two pillows if you want to bring those into your practice. If you do have two blocks um, at your home, um, blocks are also a really nice, um, thing to have with you, but I won't be queuing with them only because I want this to be accessible to anyone and everyone, whether you have um, blocks at home or not. We're starting in a seated position in a butterfly posture. And to take this, we're going to bring the feet, the soles of the feet together. And I like to create a lot of space here. So a lot of times when we come into this, we bring the, the soles of the feet close to the pelvic floor. We want to create space for this pelvic floor. So I want to allow those heels to be further away, creating a little bit of a diamond space. And you're just gonna take your first few moments to connect with your body. I like to even squeeze up and down my legs, especially if you're in the later part of your pregnancy. Um, your legs are working a lot for you. You may even experience some swelling. So just take a few moments to kind of rock left and right, to squeeze your legs, maybe even squeeze down into your feet if that feels good into your low back. We just want to start to get some movement into the spine. And when you're ready, we'll just walk the shoulders above the hips. Hands are going to be placed comfortably so they can be on the knees, maybe on the quads, or you can even place them on your baby. <laughs> Let's try to get Bean out of the picture. <laughs> on your baby um, and on your belly. If you're taking this, you can always take one hand above and one hand below or wherever it feels comfortable. From here, we're going to soften the eyes. If you feel safe and secure enough, close the eyes. Or at least just allow the eyes to peel down towards the floor. This is going to help relax the face. And I want you to imagine that you can inhale through the crown of the head and allow the breath to dive down through the crown of the head, down through the face, and all the way down into that lower belly. So really expand into the lower belly. Let the breath expand in a full 360 here. As you exhale, I want you to think about pressing the breath back out from the belly so you can even contract or hug the muscles in towards baby, giving the baby a little hug here and allowing the breath to move back out from the crown of the head, maybe imagining a fountain spilling around you. We're gonna do that a few more times, inhaling through the crown of the head, letting the baby or belly relax, 
creating space with your breath. And exhale, allow the muscles to just give the baby a little hug. You can even hug your hands in, letting the breath move out from the crown of the head. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. One more time, just like that. If you would like and your eyes are closed, peel the eyes up towards the eyebrows, inhale. And exhale. Take a big inhale here. Maybe lift the chin slightly, open up the chest. On the exhale, we're gonna bring the hands to heart center. Tuck your chin here. Just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice and your baby. What is this for? Allowing yourself to create space in your body, create space in your mind for what's to come and create space of love and joy to bring in your new baby or your new creation. Take a big inhale here. And exhale, let it go. Bring the hands down on top of the chins, shins, tuck your chin in and open up the back of the neck. As we inhale, we're gonna let the belly move forward, tilt the pelvic floor, relax the shoulders back, take a big breath into the collarbones and move the shoulders away from the ears. On the exhale, round through the spine, drop your head, feeling the C shape in the spine. Inhale, tilt the pelvic floor forward, opening up your chest, maybe lift your chin up, smile the lips up towards the ears. On the exhale, draw the belly in, round through the spine. So starting to marry our breath with our movement. Inhale, taking an entire inhale to open up the chest. Taking an entire exhale to let it go round through the spine, open up through the back of the neck. And we'll inhale, lift the shoulders up over the hips, Relax them down. Chin is gonna come back down to the chest, right ear to right shoulder. If it feels good for you, you can start to walk this left hand out slightly, just tint the fingers down on top of the mat. If you want a little more, we're not gonna pull or press, we're just gonna place the hand up, allowing a little extra weight on the head. Especially if there's a lot of fear or anxiety in your stage of creation. Um, you may feel that you hold that tension in your neck. So we're just allowing anything to spill out from the neck. And relax this right hand down if you have it. Chin comes down through the chest, through center, left ear, left shoulder. Again, you can tint the fingers down if you want a little more space. And allow the left hand to come on top of the head. Again, we're not pulling anything here. We're just allowing a little extra weight. And see if you can direct the breath into this tendon, this SEM tendon here, allowing the breath to expand into the neck, allowing the exhale to relax everything a little deeper. Let your jaw relax. One more breath. Relax the left hand down. Chin comes through center. We're gonna take the right ear all the way to the right shoulder. If it feels good for you, start to take a little neck roll back, lifting the chin up to the sky, coming out to the left side. We're gonna take three passes here. I want you to move as slowly as possible, staying where it may feel sticky or staying where you may feel you need a little more space. If it's too much to open up through the front, you can keep the pass just close to the chest, right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder, and just pass right and left. We'll take one more pass, moving slowly, getting any pops and kinks out through the cervical spine, and bring the chin down. Other way, left ear, left shoulder, drawing the chin up to the sky, around, and bringing the chin back down. Two more times. If you feel more secure to have the hands down, keep them down, but also it might feel nice to place the hands on the body. One more pass, move slowly, close your eyes. 
and bring the chin through center and back up. This time we're gonna get the shoulders involved. We're gonna roll the shoulders over to the left side. As you inhale, scoop the chest forward. As you exhale, round the shoulders forward and the spine back. Two more times here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Getting any pops and kinks out. We have the cat and dog fighting each other in front of me right now. I'm not sure if you can see, but now is not the time to play in front of mommy. <laughs> we'll end with the chest forward and we're just gonna take that direction the other way. Shoulders to the left, round through the spine. We're just taking some circles here, getting any pops and kinks out from the spine. Allow the belly to move forward. Disregard the ruckus. Sometimes you just gotta go with what's happening. And we'll find the shoulders back over the hips. Take a big breath in here. Let it all go, feeling loose in the spine, loose in the head. From here, we're gonna take that right knee into the chest, lift it up slightly, and we're going to send it long on the mat. You can send the left heel a little closer into the pelvic floor. Left hand to the knee, we're just gonna slide that right hand down. Maybe you flex that foot and externally rotate that right leg by drawing the pinky toe down. And we're just gonna take a few rounds to just roll the shoulder down. Maybe you drop your head, starting to open up space in the left side. Breathing into that left lung one more time, just like that. This time we're gonna slide that right hand down Elbow inside of the knee, left hand is gonna reach up to the sky and peel the left hand over towards the foot. Big breath here. We wanna isolate that breath into the left side body, breathing in to the left lung, really fill up the belly. On the exhale, relax. One more breath. And inhale, reaching back. All right, Bean, go lay down, go lay down. Beautiful job. This time, we're going to allow the heart to spill forward. Bean, go lay down. And just take a tilt here. Hands are gonna come forward, drop your head. Just opening up that inner thigh. And inhale, walk the hands back up. Bring that right leg in and extend that left leg long. Once again, we want some external rotation of that left leg. Just slide the hand down. We're just gonna take a few passes right and left with the shoulders, loosening up the spine. You're gonna already feel the side stretch happening. We'll do that one more time. Allow that left hand to come down, right hand to reach overhead. Big breath in, breathing into that right lung. Can you sit? And inhale, we're going to reach back up and then tilt the pelvic floor forward, hands come to the mat. Just drop the elbows, drop the head slightly. We're not going too deep at this point in our practice. Just allowing that abductor, that inner thigh to start to open. You may find that you have a little more flexibility in your pregnancy. We have a hormone called relaxin that starts to soften the bones. So we don't wanna over exert in our stretching um, because we can sometimes overdo it. So we wanna really follow the breath and go as deep as the breath will allow us to go. And then we'll inhale, lengthen back up, bring the feet back together. So this time you have the option, go play, go play, to bring the heels as close to the pelvic floor as they feel comfortable or you can keep them a little further away. Right hand's gonna come down. Some more side stretches here. Left hand reaches up and over. Sorry guys, Bean wants to play. Right hand into the mat, open up here. You can peel the head left and right. 
Inhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes over. Again, you want to press that left hand away from the mat, opening up both sides of the body. Let the chin to come up and down. From here, shoulders come over the chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. We're going to assist the knees in coming into a tabletop position. So just find the top of your mat, hands come down. And we want the wrist right underneath the shoulders and the shoulders over the wrist. And we want the hip right over the knee, the knee right below the wrist. You can unfurl the toes and just start to rock your body left and right. We want the spine to kind of move like a snake. A lot of times what happens um, when we have a lot of weight into the front of that uterus, we start to dip into that lower back. So I want you to think about engaging the rib cage in and starting to flatten out the sacrum and allowing the movement to come side to side in the spine, creating like S's with the spine. Close your eyes. We have a couple more breaths here. You have the option to stay with this movement. If it feels good for you, your breath to kind of move your body any extra way, you can start to roll through the head, maybe take some barrel rolls. Just allowing the body to start to take over. One of the biggest things that motherhood teaches us is to tap into the intuition of our body. That's what's going to support us through labor. Our bodies already know what to do. They have this innate intelligence. And sometimes we resist that intelligence with our minds. And so a really great practice is just noticing where the breath takes you when you close your eyes and you let the breath take over. From here, we'll come back into that neutral spine. So hug the baby with the rib cage and the lower belly, relax the shoulders, press the toes down into the mat. We're going to slightly tilt the pelvic floor back and open up through the chest. So I don't want you to, to tilt too far into it. Again, we already have a lot of pressure in the back. So just real light here, breathing into the chest. Soften the elbows, round through the spine and open up the back of the spine, drop your head. We're going to take that two more times, slight tilt into a cow face pose, breathing into the collarbones. Exhale, round through the spine. One full round of breath. Inhale, you can even press the top of the toes back into the mat. Exhale, round through the spine. We're going to stay here, full breath, breathing in between the shoulder blades. You can even rock back and forth a little bit and coming into a neutral spine. We'll take the left leg and press the left leg back into the mat. And I want you to press the ball mounds back, opening up that calf muscle. Breathing here, you can rock forward and back, taking what you need. Notice when you release tension in one place in the body, it may travel to another. So just check in with your jaw, check in with your eyebrows, see if we can keep everything relaxed. We're going to press back into that heel. We're going to lift that left leg and cross it over to the right side, looking over the right shoulder. This is going to create more space in that left side body. If you feel stable, you can tiptoe the fingertips to the right corner of the mat, creating a little banana shape in that left leg or left side body. See if you can isolate the breath into the left lung. Big breath here. and we'll send the left hand back. Keep that left leg where it's at. We'll take the right toes and we're gonna point the toes towards the foot. If you want a little more stability, you can point the toes back towards the back of your mat. We're going to swivel onto that left heel and left hand is going to reach up to the sky, stacking the hips here, allowing the belly to just relax here, opening up your chest. Big heart opener, relax the left shoulder down. You may find it more comfortable to look down towards the right hand. If you want a little more, you can look up towards the left. Supporting your neck in any way that you need. You can even pass back and forth. Press the hips forward, lean back. 
On the exhale, we're gonna take this left hand and we're gonna hug underneath the right, swooping the left hand to the shoulder. Just for a moment here, let the belly relax. You're gonna open up that left shoulder blade and inhale, open back up. Send the left hand down to the mat, just a little shoulder mobility, reaching the left hand up. We're gonna use this momentum to lift into the fingertips of that right hand and bring the arms to a T, palms facing up here. Close your eyes and just breathe here. If it feels good to close the eyes. If you still need a little more stability, sometimes our balance can be off. Just look down at the ground, stay focused. Left hand is gonna come down to the shin. Right hand is going to reach overhead. Big right side body stretch. And we'll send this right hand, we're gonna swoop it down, right underneath the shoulder, followed by the left. So you may wanna just readjust, walking the hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna take some cat and cow here, dropping the belly, lifting the chest. You're gonna feel it into that inner thigh. On the exhale, cat pose, rounding through the spine, dropping through the head. Inhale, moving the pelvic floor back. Exhale, rounding through the spine. One more breath, just like this. Inhale. You have the option to stay with your cat and cows. If you would like a little more, you can bring the elbows down to the mat. You may find that this is a little too deep into that left leg, the outer IT band and that abductor. If that's the case, it's really nice to bring your pillow here just to lift the ground up to you. And we have a few breaths here. We're gonna to start to rock the hips left and right. And I want you to think about the pelvic floor almost like a portal, <laughs> kind of is really, and that you can open that portal back by relaxing the muscles and opening up through the space in the root chakra. So shining that light back. A lot of times we kind of pull everything in out of tension. I want you to think about rolling it back, opening up. One more breath here. If you have the elbows down on the ground or on a pillow, start to lift them back up. And we're just gonna walk the hands back to the top of the mat, sliding the right foot in, followed by the left. Untuck the toes, we're gonna sit back on the heels for a toe stand. Hands can come down into the quads or left hand to belly, right hand to heart. Three breaths here, allowing the belly to expand on the inhale. And exhale, release on the exhale. Two more breaths, slow it down, inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more time, big, expansive breath. And exhale. Hands come down to the quads. Just take one more moment here. You may find that the arch in the feet start to feel a little uncomfortable. We call this tapas in yoga. This is going to help us sit through what's uncomfortable in our labor, so contractions will be uncomfortable. This teaches us how to breathe through what's uncomfortable and allows our body to kind of take over um, the uncomfort that's in our mind. So one more breath here. On the exhale, bring the hands back to tabletop position. And you can just tap out the feet. I'm just gonna turn to the back of my mat so I can continue to face you, but feel free to stay in your tabletop position and take some cat and cows or any movement that you would like. So again, we'll just move through the hips, taking anything that you may need here. Relax the jaw, relax the face. And come into a full expression of your tabletop position. This is hugging that pelvic floor in. Head is moving away from the tailbone. Relax the shoulders. Relax the eyes of the elbows. Relax the arms. Press the toes down. 
Beautiful job. This time I'll take that right leg, press it to the back of the mat, open up the calf. And you can just start to rock left and right here on the calf. And press back on the calf. And then just for stability, bring those shoulders back over the wrist, lift through that back heel, and bring it over to the left side of your mat. Look over the left shoulder. Slowly start to walk the right fingertips to the corner of the mat, breathing into the right side. Taking big breaths into the right lung. Creating a little banana shape. And then we're gonna turn those left toes to either point towards the right, so they're in alignment with each other. If you need a little more stability, you can point them a little further out. Right heel is going to dial down, or right hand is going to reach up to the sky into a little modified side plank, opening up the belly, opening up the side body. Three breaths here, you can look up to the right hand or look down to the left. You can always adjust your feet where you feel most stable. Big breath in. And we're gonna take a big swoop here, bring this right hand down. Maybe the hips move back, swoop it across the mat. Reach back over, we're gonna tint the fingers of that left hand, so lifting slightly off the mat. And then use the muscles in the abdomen to lift up arms to a T. You can readjust yourself on your mat if you've come a little off if you'd like. Hands flip up. We're gonna close our eyes, we're gonna stay here for a few moments. Once again, letting any discomfort of the hands or the arms to let the breath take over. Acknowledging our power, our strength. And then we'll bring that right hand down to the shin. Left hand reaches over, big side body stretch. Again, you can look up and down. One more breath here, really reaching. And then we'll bring that left hand down to the mat. Left hand underneath the shoulder, right hand underneath the shoulder. We're in a little, it would be a tabletop if this knee were back in. So find yourself wherever you need to find yourself on the mat. Find the stability here. Drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, cat pose round. So we're focusing on that right leg, that abductor, that inner thigh. As you inhale, spread the sits bones apart, open up through the pelvic floor. On the exhale, press that energy back in towards baby, drop the head. One more time, drop the belly, lift the chest. You can keep with this movement if this feels good for you. If you would like a little more into the hips, we're gonna bring the elbows down to the ground. Again, option to bring your pillow here. And we're just going to shift right and left. I meant forward and back. <laughs> Breathing into the hips. Breathing into your belly. And take one more breath here. If you have the elbows down onto the ground, bring them back into the mats. Just pausing here for a moment, and we'll walk the hands back over to our tabletop, slide the left foot in, followed by the right. Cat cows drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round back into tapas, into that toe stand. Untuck the toes, sit back on your heels. Left hand to belly, right hand to heart. Breathing here. Beautiful, just not to confuse you, I'm going to turn back to the side that you're facing to the top of the mat. 
Give yourself three more breaths here. And we just have a few more postures here before we let everything go. Release the hands, bring it back into tabletop position. Keeping the toes untucked, if you need to relax them a little bit, take your time. But we're going to tuck those toes under. Pull that lower belly and lift the hips. Open up into a downward facing dog. Now it doesn't matter here if the knees are lengthened. We do want a little micro bend into those knees, but you can keep um, the knees as bent as possible. The purpose of this right now is just to take the pressure of baby off of the lower muscles in the pelvis. Sometimes they can create a lot of inflammation into the lower muscles, causing the nerves to kind of activate, causing a lot of pain. So we're just allowing baby to roll up and create some space to play in the upper part of the uterus. So we have a few more breaths here. I like to sway sometimes left and right. You can find stillness, you can find big breaths. You can even walk the dog by pedaling the heels here. Do what feels good. And from here, we'll bring the feet wide. They can be as wide as they need to to allow the belly to have some space. And we're just gonna walk the hands back towards the feet for a wide-legged forward fold, dropping the head, swaying left and right. From here, we'll turn the toes outward and the heels inward. And we're going to sit down into a malasana pose. So a yogi squat. Bringing the hands to heart center. We'll try to ignore the chaos around you. This is a really good practice if you have multiple little ones running around. Don't let that stop your practice. Just move with the distractions. When I started taking prenatal, when I found out I was pregnant, um, both the dog and the cat love to just be on the mat when I'm on the mat, love to play with me while I'm on the mat. And instead of forcing them away um, or forcing the experience of the practice or locking them away. I really tried to start to embrace the chaos that was around me as a practice of what's to come in my life. One more breath here. It may feel uncomfortable into the legs. You can just sway, soothe yourself here. You could always sit onto a pillow if you need a little extra support. But we are going to... Um, Take some squats here um, that I love to do in my prenatal practice. This is um, the Kalsa Way, a prenatal class by Gurmukh, um, who is one of my favorite prenatal teachers. Um, I got this little sequence from her, and I think it feels so good into the hips. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the hands down, lift into the hips. Heels are going to come out slightly, dropping the head. Pull the pelvic floor in, relax through the knees, and slowly on the exhale, rolling up to standing. On the inhale, we're going to sweep the hands up overhead. Big inhale. And exhale, squatting back down into that malasana. Moving with our breath, we're going to do that about 10 more times. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, roll through the spine. Inhale, reach the hands up. You don't have to move with my breath. I encourage you to move with your own. Exhale, heels turn in slightly, squatting down. Bring the hands down, lift the hips. Rolling up to standing. Now, if you find that your squats are really uncomfortable or if your heels don't touch the ground, what you could do is you could roll up the back of your mat, creating a little step for yourself. So I'm gonna show you that here. If it feels comfortable with the heels grounded on the ground, stay with what you're doing. We have about seven more passes. If you need a little more support for the heels, you can roll up your mat, step on top of your mat so the heels 
are lifted and keep going with your practice. So we inhale to lift the hips. Exhale to roll to standing. Inhale to reach the hands up. Exhale, <laughs> squatting down. Excuse me. <laughs> Bring the hands down, lifting up. No, don't chase your brother. Rolling up. Inhale, reaching up. Stay connected to your practice, not the distractions. I'm going to roll back the mats. We have about three more passes. Follow your breath. One more time, finishing out where you are. We're going to end in that squat. And ending in the squat, take a moment here. A couple more moments in your squat. You can stay up, rolled up on your mat. And from here, we'll bring the hands down, lift the hips, and we're gonna walk back into that downward facing dog. Take a couple more breaths here in downward facing dog. Bean, stop. And slowly bring the knees down. Come back into seated. Take a few breaths for yourself, reassess. Two more postures before we wrap up this practice in that toe stand. Stay with it. Bring it back tabletop position. We're going to just take some low lunges here to open up the pelvic floor. Right leg is going to press back behind you. Lifting up. We're going to bring it wide on the mat so you can swing it out, assisting that right foot to the top of your mat. Rocking the hips left and right. You can even take some circles here with the hips, creating lots of space in that pelvic floor where that baby is going to come out of. Bean, you are very needy right now. And maybe reverse the circles, just getting acquainted here. You will have the option to keep the arms long. Again, you can bring pillows up or you can walk the hands or the elbows on top of that right leg creating just a little support letting that psoas muscle open if you would like to get more into the hips bring the hands down maybe bring the elbows down and you can continue with the circles or the rocks right and left If it feels good, you can come to the razor edge of that right leg, letting the knee open, breathing into the hips. We'll take one more deep breath here. If you have the elbows on the ground, bring the hands back up. We're gonna take just a twist here. Left hand stays on the mat, right hand comes to the knee. Open up slightly, open up the chest towards the sky. And we'll bring the hand down, send the hips back, right leg comes to meet it, shake out your hips. We have one more side and we are all done with the active portion of our practice. Left leg's going to reach back, lift it up, bring the knee over, plant it wide on the mat so both hands are inside of that left leg. Once again, take some circles here into the hips, maybe about three on each side. Reverse the circles. Kind of 
Come back into that lizard position. Again, you have the option to keep the chest lifted, arms long, tinted on the mat. You have the option to lift up on that knee or to bring your pillow and bring the elbows right on top of the pillow. Now really breathe through this here. Opening up that pelvic floor, letting your breath even move inside of the cervix, opening up the space, or massaging the space. If you would like, come to the razor edge of the left foot, open up a little more. One more breath here. If you have the elbows down, bring them back up. Right hand plants, left hand on top of the knee, a little open twist here. And send that left hand back down, hips come back, move that left leg back. From here, we're just going to take a little child's pose. So we'll bring the knees wide on the mat, big toes to touch. You can bring the elbows to the mat and let the head drop, creating space for your belly. If it feels comfortable, you can bring the head all the way down. Take a few breaths here. And we'll slowly lift back up. There's hair all over my mat now from this dog. <laughs> and we're just gonna come back into a seated position. Our final posture is a posture for us to connect with our body into stillness, into Shavasana. So I encourage you to have a couple pillows. I have a longer pillow here, it doesn't really matter. You can have just two regular couch pillows and allow one pillow to come down and the other pillow to kind of tilt on top because we don't want our spine, especially later on in pregnancy, we don't want to spend too much time just flat on our back. Um, a lot, that usually will like clamp a little too much or bring a little too much pre pressure to that vagus nerve and we want that nice and open and flowing. So I like to encourage um, the mamas that I teach to keep up in a reclined position. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together one more time. This time, since we are a little more open in the hips, we can bring the heels a little closer to the pelvic floor. And then when you're ready, just sink back onto your pillow. Hands can come to your belly or down by your sides. And we're just gonna take a few breaths here, letting the hips open and the heart open. Breathing here. Now you have the option to stay here, opening up or come back into seated where we'll just take a moment with our hands on top of the knees. As you breathe in, allow the breath to move down. You can even think about the pelvic floor pressing down to the mat. As you breathe out, slightly pressing it back in and up, letting the breath move back up through the head. Two more times. And we'll bring the hands to heart center, tuck the chin, breathing in the word sat, exhaling the word nam, which means truth. Thumbs to third eye center. Give yourself a moment to thank your body for everything it's doing to bring in this life, this new creation. Thank the space around you. And take a moment to allow your intention to really integrate into your body, feeling your power, your strength, and all the love you have to give to this new creation, this new baby, this new life. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Stay seated, stay in the stillness as long as possible. Um, sorry for all of the distractions with the animals, but again, sometimes we gotta roll with the punches. 
It's a great practice in moving into motherhood and I wish you all the best on your journey. Um, leave a comment if you have any request or anything that you're experiencing in, in pregnancy or not. Um, I'd love to continue to create for you guys. And thank you all so much for joining me. So it flows.